Hello and welcome back. Mr. Veach here with a preview of tonight's homework. Today in class you learned about ratios, um, which are basically comparisons of numbers, how often something happens in comparison to something else. So tonight's homework is all about Wegmans and the foods and the deli case. So let's go over a few um, we've done and started in class. Let's, let's finish up now. And if you need help while you're doing your homework, this is a great way to get it. In the deli case at Wegmans, there are many different types of meats and cheeses. There are six kinds of bologna, four kinds of salami, seven kinds of turkey, three kinds of American cheese, and five kinds of Swiss cheese. So here's our work now. Write a ratio three different ways for these situations here on the side. And, and one way to write a ratio is with this uh, colon here. Something compared to something, like bologna compared to turkey. Uh, we can also write a ratio a second way as a, as a fraction. Something, bologna, compared to something, turkey. Or we can even write the word two in the middle. Bologna compared to turkey, and you write your answer. Let's try the first one. Since we're looking at bologna, and we're looking at turkey, we can take a look at, there are six kinds of bologna, and for turkey, there are seven kinds. Let's compare that. Remember, our first way, we're looking at bologna, go up to bologna and see six and we're comparing that to turkey so we go up to turkey and there are seven kinds so the ratio is six to seven All right, six bolognese to seven turkeys same thing same ratio written as a fraction we're looking at the first one being bologna go up there are six and now the second thing we're comparing to is turkey. So we go up to turkey. And there are, that's right, seven. You see all that? We'll zoom in a little bit. It's important to keep in the right order. It said bologna first. So put bologna first. Turkey is second. So put turkey second, right? Bologna, turkey. Very important. Let's try the next one. This time we're comparing turkey to salami. So let's go up ahead and now we'll look at turkey and salami. Turkey there are seven, salami there are four. Okay, So the first part of our ratio is turkey. We go up to turkey, we know there's seven. And this one's going to be a ratio with a colon. The second part of our ratio is salami. So we go up to salami, and there are four. The ratio is seven turkeys to four salamis, or seven to four. On a fraction, we write the first comparison on top, so that's turkey. Seven on the top over salami. Salami is in the bottom, four. Seven over four, or seven right compared to four seven to four ratio and the last one we're going to put the word two in the middle turkey again you're getting good at this seven to salamis four seven to four ratio okay i'm going to let you do the rest of these on your own All right it's helpful if you have markers or highlighters to use colors here's some salami in orange and we're going to compare that to bologna so on that one, you'd go up to salami and compare it to bologna. Right? Have at it. Go over those the way we just reviewed on these. And then on the bottom, we have some word problems. You have to take a word problem and can grab the ratio from that word problem. So let's go over one of these. First thing, read. 
9 out of 13 members of a club are girls. We're talking about clubs, and we're talking about 9 out of the 13 members of that club are girls. What's the ratio of girls to boys in the club? And here we have to assume something. There are either girls or there are boys. We're human beings, and you have to be a girl or a boy. So, 9 out of 13 are girls. What's left are the boys. All right. So what's the ratio of girls to boys? First thing was girls. Let's use our highlighter for that. All right. So girls will be pink here. Girls. Nine of them are girls. Okay. This time I'm choosing to write my ratio as a fraction. Nine. doesn't say how many boys there are, but it does say how many total there are. We have to do some math. We have 13 members. We have to take away nine girls to get the boys. Because remember, human beings are boys or girls. There's 13, take away 9. Anyone know what that is? Well, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's 4. Right? We now know there are 4 boys. The ratio of girls to boys is 9 girls to 4 boys. I could also write that 9 to 4 or 9 to 4. Okay? I want you to try the rest on your own. You can pause this and give it a try. Actually, let's just have you finish the whole thing and we'll, we'll end our review for today. Alright? That's how to do ratios from your homework on uh, December the 14th 2011. Mr. Veach here saying good luck, and if you have any problems, don't be afraid to ask. Have a good night.